All right, guys. Um, today, as because, well, because a lot of you have been asking me to try and display a combo video for Predator Plants, um, I would give my best shot at displaying what the deck can do. Um, and there are a few card combos, like small combos that you can learn, two to three cards, which can um, help you on your way uh, to getting the most out of this deck. So, if we're going basic, two card combo, we have um, Scorpio and Predator Practice. Now, Use these two in conjunction with each other, you have instant access to super polymerization or any fusion play. So what you do is you activate the Predator Practice first to summon the Scorpio out of your hand. Then the Predator Practice will be able to search you a Predator card. You'll be searching a monster and the ideal uh, target for this would be your uh, Hydra to add to your hand. Now all for Scorpio will trigger because in the new chain, the um, monster was added to your hand, so you'll instantly be able to use Scorpio's effect to discard the um, Hydra to the graveyard, which will then be able to start your Predator Plant play. Um, the go-to thing would be to summon Darlingtonia Cobra to be able to search you out um, any number of your uh, polymerization or fusion spells, um, like we see here. So you've got your super polymerization, your Poly and your Predator Prime Fusion. Um, that's the go-to play, basically. Um, you can also, if you wish, uh, summon out of the deck your Sunju, uh, which in the right scenario, if your opponent has Predator counters on their monsters, you can fuse off with them into any fusion, fusion monster that you want. Um, speaking of Sunju, there is a sort of disruption combo that you can use uh, to get rid of at least one of your opponent's monsters. So if you have Predoplast and Sunju in hand, you can uh, activate Predoplast to reveal the uh, Sunju in your hand, giving them a Predator counter on one of their monsters. And then um, when you normal summon the Sunju, you'll immediately be able to fuse off with one of their monsters because they become dark and you'll instantly be able to... Um, fusion summon using that. Sorry, my phone's just going off. Never own a landline, guys, because stuff like that happens. Anyway, many apologies. Where was I? Okay, so we talked about the Sunju combo. Very simple. Um, however, let's try and look at a three card combo. Now, I was having a look at this the other day and I was thinking maybe you could do this as a two card combo, but it's literally impossible due to the restrictions um, presented to you by Predator Practice. Now, the first thing you want to do, this is a going second combo only, because this deck wants to go second. You want to have these three cards in your hand ideally. Now, um, what you want to do first with this combo is you want to normal summon your squid and then immediately link summon Salomon Great El Mirage to your side of the field. Now, here is where Scrooge Sarah is going to pass, uh, is going to place a predator counter on every monster your opponent controls. Now this is very important because you need the predator counters in order to be able to do things. This point here is where you start off with your predator practice combo because once activating predator practice, you are completely restricted into summoning only fusion monsters from the extra deck. So bear that in mind. So we go predator practice. We special summon the Scorpio from hand, and then the Scorpio is going to add us a copy of um, the, ooh, would it be the Hydra? Mm. Yeah, let's call it the Hydra again. To discard, and then you'll immediately be able to special summon a Predator Plant from your deck. Um, using this. Okay, so we'll be able to then summon the Sunju. And then because your opponent has all of the Predator counters on their monsters, you'll be able to fuse off into um, your big guy, Trifavertum, or failing that, 
a copy of at least Dragostopelia or um, Rafflesia. There are a few different routes you can take using this as well because you have other options to summon with um, Scorpio. For example, let's say we want to search for a spell instead of um, a monster to trigger Scorpio's effect and we have another monster in hand. You can always go for the Predator Pruning option, search for that instead to bring back one of your um, uh, Predator plants that are already in the grave. So you can use that to bring back the Drosera that you already sent off and then make more plays there if you need to. Again, it's all, all subjective on what you guys have in your hand. You know, there's also the option of bringing Saracenian. So if you fuse them off, you'll be able to search for a Predator plant uh, spell or trap or just a Predap card from your deck to your hand. So again, just, just a few things you can, you can do with this deck. You're not going to be making major stupid, um, you know, combos that will result in an extra link, multiple fusion monsters. But what you can do with this deck is you can give your opponent a hard time, you can clear their board, and you can be able to do a lot more cool stuff with the cards at your disposal. Now, a few other tech options which were suggested to me was the Edge Imp engine. I'm assuming that's things like Fright Fur, Patchwork, Edge Imp Savers, just so you can get Polly and things to your hand really quickly. That's a really good suggestion, um, and that's something I'm going to test out and bear in mind. Uh, we also have a Lair of Darkness, so you can tech that card in to make your Sunju always live and to make your Super Polly always live as well. So it's just the suggestions that I've been given and uh, things that I'm going to consider. I'm planning on t trying to take this deck to a competitive level, but at the moment in time, I just don't think it's quite there yet. It's got a lot of um, utility at its disposal, but again, the consistency is something you need to watch out for. Um, there's only so much draw power you can put in a deck like this, and sometimes cards like Allure of Darkness and Pot of Desires don't really help as much as you'd want them to. But let's just say it's a lot better than it has been, and um, you know, as long as uh, dark decks thrive in the meta, this, this uh, deck will always have something to eat up. So thanks for watching, guys. Um, you know, have a, have a good day and everything. Uh, this has been Al from Exiles, and uh, I'll be with you with another deck profile shortly.